Some days you win, some days you lose. Today, I lost. Traders, there's, uh, there's two things I want to talk about uh, today, just a short lesson. And uh, just before that, here's how my account looks like right now. As you can see, I'm having a red day and uh, down like nine grand. I did have a fantastic week though, so my week is great. Um, I will finish uh, Friday on red. There's a slight chance that Adobe would move like five points higher and I will finish in green, maybe, if that's going to happen. So I'm still open with some uh, half size of my Adobe trade, hoping that something will change. But I did take a small loser in Adobe, reduced my size by half because it's really not going anywhere. But that's, um, let's talk a little bit about uh, uh, something that I think is important. And it is my Adobe trade. Take a look at Adobe. It's not about my entry, it's about my exit or let's call it, uh, uh, let's, let's give it a different name. Let's talk about whole numbers. You know, we often like to trade whole numbers and we, we do give whole numbers a very important meaning when we're trading whole numbers. The reason for, whole, for, for, for noticing or trading or using whole numbers is the fact that a lot of people are using whole numbers as support or resistance point. It's, you know, if you will ask a person who looks at Adobe, and I'm not talking about experienced traders, I'm talking about the vast majority of the people out there who are not experienced traders. If you will ask a, a trader, or not a trader, a person out there, uh, if he wants to buy Adobe, he say, well, Adobe looks kind of great, it's spiked up, you know what, if it's going to come down to um, 5, 5, 9, I'm going to buy it. If it's going to come down to 560, I'm going to buy it. If it's going to come down to 561, I'm going to buy it. And these people, lots of them, are placing whole number orders. And they're going to say the same. They're going to say, okay, I bought Adobe at 440. If it's going to come up to 568, I'm going to sell it. If it's going to come up to 567, I'm going to sell it. And they will place automated sell orders at whole numbers. Like, if, if, if you were an investor, if you were a... If you were uh, even a swing trader, uh, if you were not an experienced trader and you would just look at your account and say, well, if I want to buy some Adobe, I'll place a buy order at. You will use a whole number. You will, you will just click an, an order if, if, if you want to use automated orders, and many people do. You will just click an order at whole number. You will just click an order, buy Adobe at 560, something like that, or sell Adobe at uh, 585. You will not put a sell order at 585.22, right? I mean, if you understand something about uh, trading, you will not use whole numbers. Because if you're trying to sell a stock, let's say at 580, there will be a lot of people with you selling the stock at 580. So you, so since that, since the fact that a lot of people will sell, put a sell order at the whole numbers, you want to be selling a few cents under, two, three cents under, just to make sure that when the stock reaches your target, yes, you don't go to the whole number, you just take a smaller profit by just a few cents because there will be a lot of competition in the whole number. And then maybe it will not trigger your selling order. Maybe it will just touch it and come down. Or it's the same, the same idea is right when the stock is coming down, there will be a lot of buyers waiting at whole numbers. So if you want to buy stock, have your order at uh, 560.02. Don't have it at 560. At 560, you will have a lot of competition. It's, a, it's, 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 a, it's something that people shouldn't do, but they're not aware to the fact that there's a lot of people with them trying to sell or to buy at whole numbers. That's why whole numbers are, if we're trading, if we're going long, for example, whole numbers are resistance. There will be people who will sell at whole numbers. On the other hand, if a stock is coming down to a whole number, whole number is support. Now take a look at Adobe. You may remember I placed my order at 5.59, a cent under 5.59. Now. now take a look at the first time it came down. You see this bottoming tail here? I'm going to put my marker right on this candle and you can see right there on the top, right over here, if you look, you can see that uh, the low is 5.59, whole number. Now look again where it came down to the same whole number, you will find 5.59. 
Now, is it accidental that it touched exactly the same whole number and then bounced? There could be a big buyer out there, someone who's, again, not, not experienced enough because if he wants to buy Adobe and if he's buying price is 559, he should place his order anywhere between 55901 and 55910. Okay, so we will not get it 559, but he probably, whoever it is, didn't get his order filled. So just putting, putting a big order at whole numbers, which is what people do, is not the right thing. But on the other hand, it saves your trade sometimes. So it came down and that's why you should have your stop ascent under 559 because it was supported but who, by whoever was buying there so if this person or persons who are buying at 559 is not supporting you anymore and came down one cent under sell always use whole numbers whole numbers are extremely important so you can see here again 559 559 that's not by any chance that is clearly someone using the whole number to support the stock uh, not intentionally, just but trying to buy at the whole number. So you're looking for a stop loss. It must be reasonable. You just don't look for the next uh, for the next whole numbers. But but if you if the whole number is close enough, then you should be using it. And that's very important to know. And again, if you're trying to get a profit and you are approaching your target price, and let's say your target price, let's say now my target price is 568, which is approximately the number. So if my target price is 568, I will try to sell at 56790 something. I will not wait to the 568 because it's likely that there will be a lot of sellers at the whole number. So if I want to get executed i want to get i want to sell i would like to sell just a few cents below the whole number so please remember the whole number issue it's a very very important in trading second thing i wanted to say is friday fridays are sometimes really ugly days that's one of the reasons i'm losing today i have something to blame right look at the s p 500 yeah we are kind of trending lower but it's ugly look at the nasdaq we are not trending anywhere. These are five minute candles. We're just going sideways. And that's something that happens a lot on Fridays. The reason for that, a lot of people are taking off for the weekend early. There's less volume in the market, less decisive. Um, people are less decisive. Uh, you know, the big moves uh, for institutional traders are normally Tuesday to Thursday. Uh, not not even Monday. They're coming back to work on Monday. These are normally not big moving days. And then they execute their trades normally in between Tuesday to Thursday. Yes, Monday could be a big move. Yes, Friday could be a big move day. But normally it's not. And right now you're seeing that there's no really decision making on this day. And uh, when you don't have the S&P moving your way, then you could be in trouble and I'm definitely in trouble with Adobe as you can see here because it's it, I think it wants to move higher it's up 2% and it's kind of trending higher but if it had some kind of help from the market well possibly it could have moved uh, where I wanted it to move but uh, definitely no help from the market that is no good for it's harder to trade it's hard to trade Fridays are hard to trade so normally and I did hear Yogi saying that you should lower your size on, on, on Fridays. Um, be a little bit more careful when you trade on Fridays and uh, that's it. So that's the end of my lesson. And as I mentioned, I don't know where I'm going to see you again. I'm, I'm taking off. I'm getting into my boat on Sunday and uh, living with friends to the, uh, uh, to the Greek islands. And I don't know when I'm back. Maybe a few weeks, maybe a few months. We'll see. Uh, hang on there without me. Uh, there's lots of great analysts in the trading room. It has been a pleasure trading with you this week. And I'm sure that when I'll be back, we're going to continue enjoying. And maybe, just maybe, I'm going to have good internet on the boat and uh, be able to join you while I'm sailing. So thank you all. I'll see you all next time. Don't worry. Bye. And have a great weekend.